G'day, it's Russell McKenzie here from Adelaide West Headache Clinic and what I want to talk to you about today is uh, pillows and sleeping positions uh, particularly in relation to neck pain and headache problems uh, and the reason is, is is it's something that comes up so often um, not a day goes by that I don't have two or three conversations about this particular topic so it seemed like a good thing to do a video about. Um, it's particularly an issue because when people ask about what's the best kind of pillow to buy um, there really is no one answer and it's very much a bit of a gamble to go and buy a pillow take it home and if you find out that it doesn't work for you you are kinda of stuck with it you can't take them back because of um, health um, policy so I feel as if it's uh, it's a really important thing to be able to take your current pillow and see if you can optimize it um, without necessarily going the next step and buying a new pillow so see what you can do with what you've got already so I've got a couple of ideas to show you that you can try out um, and they don't cost anything and if they're you know it's not working out in the middle of the night you can always chuck the towels away and, and just go back to what you're normally sleeping with but really simple let me show you what to do so the first thing is really getting the pillow height right and if you've got an inkling that your pillow might be too low then it's very easy to to work on that and to see if you can bring it up to just the right height and the way to do that is um, get a towel lay it down put your pillow on top lay down on it and and see how it feels to you and then get another towel, put it down on top, lay down on it again and, and just gradually work up the height until you find there's a sweet spot. There will be a point where you think, ah, oh, that actually feels really, really good. So that's really what you're striving for with that. Um, so if, um, if it's too high, it's going to be doing something to your neck. If it's too low, it's going to be doing something else to your neck. And particularly that with people that have neck problems and that have headache problems that are related to their neck, there seems to be a much smaller margin for error so it seems to be more critical to to get things like the height right than if your neck doesn't give you any issues it just seems to be a smaller uh, margin of error for creating something creating a headache or creating neck pain or just feeling comfortable so that's the first thing you can muck around with the height and I'd do that before you go to bed don't wait till you're going to bed to do this I would I would um, set some time aside in the evening or through the day and, and play around with this for five or ten minutes and come up with something that feels about right. The next thing that I'd try is we, once you've found out your pillow height and you've got that right, get a towel and roll it up. Make a little neck roll like, like that. So make a little neck roll. And then what you can do is shove that inside the front sleeve of the pillow and then the idea with that <coughs> is that can that can sit in the in in the, the part of your neck that needs that extra little bit of height that bit of support so it's kind of doing what contoured pillows do uh, but it's a little bit more than that and it's a little bit more direct as well to the part of your neck that needs it so a really simple thing to try out like I said it won't cost you anything because you're just going to roll up a towel, but the the uh, height of that part is going to vary depending on how wide your shoulders are um, and, and dimensions, so it's another thing just to play around with. But if you find uh, a height of of your pillow and, and you find out that, that feels pretty good when you're trying it as a dry run through the day, then obviously you try it at night, and worst comes to worst, if it's not working out, you can just chuck that stuff on the floor and be done with it. Um, and, uh, and try something different the next night. There are also commercially available neck rolls that are specifically designed for that job. So if you do the, the rolled up towel idea and it feels like it might be, might be right for you, then you can actually buy these. We've got them here, they're the McKenzie, original McKenzie cervical rolls. And they do the same thing, you put them inside the pillow and they're, they're just a, a nice amount of firmness. They're not too hard, they're not too soft, they um, they, they do quite a nice job and there's one chap that I know of that bought one of these and he doesn't use a pillow anymore he just uses a neck roll he lays on his back and uses it behind his neck when he sleeps sleeping on his back and he's, he loves it he thinks it's the best thing that he's come across so 
Um, so these are, these are great. And the other thing, the other thing is I've always had a bit of a problem with the idea of uh, pillows as I talked about before and the fact that you could shell out some money and get home and try it and it's just not the right thing for you. But um, we, do, uh, we do sell pillows here and the only reason that we sell these is because you can adjust them. So there's adjustability, there are inserts that you can take out, you can put back in, there are noodles across the front that you can um, take out to change the, the softness of the surface of the pillow and you can see there's a, a, a lower side and a higher side so that there's a few things that you can try out so that you're not just buying a pillow and then you're stuck with it without any ability to change it around. You can adjust this, there are some things that you can play with. So we have these here at the clinic, they're memory foam. I, I've got one at home, I'm quite comfortable with mine, I think it's great. But having said that, it doesn't suit everyone, so it's not, it's not a, well no pillow is perfect for everyone. Um, and whether it's feather, a feather pillow or whether it's a poly pillow or a memory foam pillow, everyone's different. So there really is no one recommendation, I guess you could say, in terms of pillows. You still have to find what suits you, but at least if you've got one at home that you're using now, with those ideas that I showed you before, you can play around with what you've got without necessarily going out and taking a bit of a gamble and buying another pillow. So I hope that's been helpful for you. Um, please share this with someone if, if you know that they're struggling a little bit with sleeping and headaches and, and pillow height, pillow position, any of those things. Uh, my name's Russell McKenzie from Adelaide West Headache Clinic. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Bye.